Hey folks, trying to get back into the game here. Welcome back to Glitchy Graphics and Craziness. I'm the Mysterious JG. Can I just please get this to stop? Usually clicking around some of the menus is enough. Doesn't seem to want to work this time. There we go, that screen got us bad. Yeah, so in the first video we kind of got uh, our food up here by... Uh, Well, we, we basically just um, got ships out to our allied cities and got our food supplies, and then we fought off uh, an invasion by the Spartans and Syracuse people of some other Italian city. I don't even remember what they were called now. Uh, Segesta got attacked by those jerks from Corinth, I guess, who... Are they even on the map anymore? No, they're... Corinth is hostile, but they are an ally. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but yeah, the main thing to say is that we've created the army with which we are supposed to fight back against the Spartans. So let's go. Shouldn't take too long before... Now, we thinned out their numbers a bit by just having... Some of them run into run into our uh some of them just like charge right into our uh, boats. But uh once we get oh this is Corinth. I think we'll be beating them up. Where should I go? Yeah, Warcry makes a difference. Now, they've got stone throwers, which aren't good, but... I think we'll get Pericles back into the city, just in case. Maybe our uh, archers need to finish off these stone throwers, or get wiped out by them, one or the other. Yeah, they die fast here. So what did I say about needing to build replacements? This might be it though, this might be it for their army, because there was a whole bunch of guys at the starting point, and I think they actually all got killed by boats. Do you have a minimum range? It'd be really nice if you had a minimum range. At any rate. I guess I don't have... Um, those guys who break, uh... I don't think we have the guys who break stuff with, uh... You know, giant logs anymore. We have elephant archers, but I don't just have, like, elephant elephants. Apparently they do have a minimum range, so I should have had, should have had that in mind. So screw you, Corinth. What is our victory condition here? Uh, repairs, repairs, drive. You must drive all the Spartan forces out of Corinth to secure your final victory. Okay, so transports were made available so that I could defend Segesta, but instead I just built stuff in Segesta. I might be about to win, in which case this will be a very short video, but.
Wish we had stone throwers. Maybe we do. Maybe I can build uh, more buildings for their villagers now, but... Yes, my lord? No, I can't build a siege workshop. Oh, Corinth is allied. So these guys are hostile, but they're still our friends. I guess they're like frenemies. <laughs> I think they were just like, they're supposed to be against us because they had no choice. The Spartans were too dangerous. Alright, well. We got rid of the first big group. I think we could safely say that there's probably more important to be producing troops faster now than anything else. What did you... What, I didn't think I told you to wander that far. I don't think I'm getting these guys back. I'm going to flee to here in the hopes that he's saved, but I probably don't want him to go all the way back to my city in case uh, they really do follow him there. Probably, and I suppose we could build another archery range. Certainly. Certainly we could. And I know there's a morale meter that the houses affect. Uh, whatever. You guys are still happily working away. The Athenian slaves of Sicily. I mean, um... Dauda. Dauda. We don't have enough wood to build another plate thing, so I guess that's when you stop. I think overall we want more ground troops. The archers always tend to survive, but that's... They just aren't in the line of fire as quickly, of course. Look at the actual damage these guys are doing. 24 plus 13 or 37, whereas these guys are doing 14. So I think these guys are doing most of the damage in the initial skirmish. Okay. So we got another attack force ready to go. We'll get the better part of a full video out of this after all. But yeah, that was a big ugly battle and they had they had anti-personnel siege which we do not get. But we've also got Pericles with all of his power restored. Athena wills us to get slaughtered again, <laughs> but probably win this time. Yeah, there's their siege workshop. So this time we'll be going into their actual... This is Corinth that we just liberated from Spartan occupation. They're still hostile towards us, but they're allies. I guess. But this is actually Sparta. I think taking out the troops here, probably not the buildings, just the troops, I would imagine, will earn us a win in this scenario. Please. 
Yeah, let's see if we can just get them to come attack us, our archers, and ignore our ground troops. Oh, well, they're not going to. They're they're on some kind of patrol route. Okay, oh, I don't know. I guess they're just gonna let us do that. Yeah, not good at figuring out how to get our guys to attack when they're not being directly threatened. Like if they attack move command, I think someone may have told me like 10 videos back. This is the, I, I've played a lot of, a lot of these, you know, real-time strategies this game. I'm not, not, well, maybe just one, whatever, it's fine. Spartans have been vanquished. Athens, through expert leadership, has ensured her freedom. Aw, oh, shucks. Expert leadership. You go on, game. So I was correct. I didn't need to worry about uh, defeating... Uh... Oh, let's see. There you go. It's, it's, it is Italy with the... Uh, the boot pair. And then this would be Sicily. Yeah. So I'm not sure where the guys who, uh, the enemies of Medina or whatever this place was, uh, I'm not sure where they, uh, who they were again. I thought they said Syracuse. I'm not sure now. But, um, I think that's just plot. Like, a, just a Spartan force just appears here and attacks. Uh, otherwise, it looks like I got the entire Spartan Navy before it was all said and done. So all we have left to survive is a few Spartan buildings, including the siege workshop, siege factory. Um, and I didn't really, there wasn't that much left when uh, that first force got wiped out by siege weapons. So if I had, had better unit management, we might have, well, no, we, these archers wouldn't have been able to stand up to all those uh, phalanxes by themselves, but we did pretty good. Why is that marked gold? It's just gold that's not being harvested, so it shows up gold on the map? Maybe? Don't know. But these are just allied sieves that never actually do anything other than... Plot-wise, we get food deposited in our stuff when they join us. Uh, but um, is, is that a faithful recreation of how the Peloponnesian Wars were fought? I don't know. All I don't know if you're still hanging out. I mean, I, I understand generally the Peloponnesian Wars were fought between Athens and Sparta and their allies, but I, and I think I remember from the Age of Empires one campaign that yeah, there was a, there was a point where Athens held against Sparta for like a year behind their walls, and it became like a naval blockade kind of deal. So I guess this game probably captured it as you know, fairly accurately I would guess. But we're done, so let's quit this game and view the statistics. So we won in every way. Killed the most units, lost. Not the most units. We killed more Spartans than we lost. Spartans raised the most buildings because we only raised one Spartan building and we didn't really need to. Uh, whereas they raised a couple of farms and houses as plot events early. Um, Corinth lost 107 buildings? I don't know if that was... 
somehow they converted civs at the end. That, whatever that was, that was weird. Army size was dominated by the Spartans. Not that surprising. They never they had no villagers, so whatever. I don't even know if they get a population limit in the campaign, the um, AI forces. But if they did, it would have been all military. They had no economy, just a huge standing force of guys. Um, and you'll see when we get to society, like they're. We had a hero count of zero. I thought we had a hero. Whatever. Research count. Okay. Taurus had more citizens than us. That's fine. But Sparta had no citizens. Uh, nobody had any epoch advancements. I dominated in mouse clicks. But the overall timeline is... I guess they had a guy's pop in for story purposes. We gradually killed... Although this is probably the first time I... Uh, probably the first time their navy appeared on the map. Then they gradually lost guys because of us killing their navy and occasionally uh, their troops just running up to our uh, boats and getting killed. And then the big spike in population when a force was spontaneously generated on the map to threaten our allies in uh, Sicily. And then they, a few of them got killed and then they all got killed. And then we had our first big battle and then our second big battle. And somehow their population is still at like 40 even though they were done. Army size over time, citizen count over time. See, no one else's citizen count ever changed. It's fine. We won. And the Peloponnesian Wars wrapped up. And Athens took over as being the ultimate force of all time. And I just closed Earth Empire all the way. I didn't think I did that, but apparently I did. Well, no matter, because we're done anyway. So when we come back next time, guys, uh, it'll be whatever campaign is next, and I would tell you, except that Earth Empire closed, so I don't know. But if you really want to know, you can go back to the first, you know, you can go back two episodes prior to when I had the campaign menu open, and you can find out from there. At any rate, I'm the Serious JG. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time for more Empire Earth. Bye-bye.